I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Quickly Play First Days of Atlantis. This is a city-building puzzle game, and it reminds me a lot of the game Islanders, which I've also done a quick play of. But uh, let's go ahead and just start a new game. And here we go. So we are given Atlantis, which is generated randomly, but is always roughly in concentric circles. Um, somewhat, anyhow. So, interface-wise, we have over here, uh, first of all, we, we've got the quests, and fulfilling these quests is basically what allows us to keep playing the game. Uh, it gives us new cards, which are down here, and new cards are how we generate gold uh, up in here. So, you've got the gold per, I don't know, round, I guess. Uh, this will keep growing, and ultimately, uh, the goal of the game is just to get as high of a score as possible. But uh, these cards down here synergize with each other, as well as the terrain. Um, so, for example, these fields, uh, you can see, produce two gold. If we find uh, fertile ground down here, we'll get twice as much. Uh, these will also synergize with things like mills, if we manage to unlock those. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. I like to put down the fields and platforms first. So the platforms go over lagoons, and if you do that, they, well, they, they actually go over the water, but if you put them over a lagoon, you'll get a free platform, um, which uh, platforms you can just extend your building area. And you don't have to put them next to the shoreline. You can just put them anywhere in the water, but as I said, they are most useful over the lagoons. So we'll just go ahead and do that. You don't get any gold for doing this, you just get uh, increased building area. But it is something you know you're going to do, so you can just knock it out. May as well fill that in there. Okay, so next we'll put in the fields, and we will make sure that they are on fertile ground. Okay, and after that are the houses and villas, although we've just unlocked starter buildings here, uh, which has given me more. Great. Now let's continue this then. Put out fields. Okay. So, I got a bunch of housing here, and uh, I can put them anywhere, but what I want to do is put this around the stone circle. The stone circle uh, gives me increased range for temples, and temples will synergize with the houses and villas, and in fact we should be able to get that fairly easy here, we just need to put down two houses. So I will go ahead and put Houses down, and there's our temple. Now put the temple down, and we'll get that going. Okay, well it's going to give me some other stuff I can do here. So I can get more temples, uh, we can start doing fish, or I can increase my croppage. I think we'll go ahead and do that, just because that is fairly easy to continue putting down and I still have uh, fertile ground all over the place. Not out here, though. Uh, there. Okay. So now, I can use the mill. Mill gives me 24 there, 30 here, 30 up there. Uh, well, we're not going to be planting anymore over here, so I may as well be in an area. 36 right here. Okay. Now there you go. Uh, 5 gold for the fish. I don't think there's any increased fishing spot, but I want to put this somewhere that uh, harbors will synergize with it. So let's put that over here, because I think harbors also synergize with housing. Let's, yeah, let's put that right here. Well, no. Let's put that right here. And maybe I can get a, a harbor that way or something. Um, okay. I'm going to keep, keep going here. Um, how about, since I have so many houses, let's keep going with the fields thing. So, fertile ground. Okay, we're actually running out of that just a bit. But that's okay. Put more fishing spots around here. Let's put that kind of out that way. Let's see. Well, that'll probably do. Um, I think I'm going to fill these in, actually, so I can build on them. The houses and villas help each other, so it's good to build a little bit of a neighborhood together. And I want to save space now because now I've got a tavern. 
And a market. Okay. So we'll put the market... Put the tavern down first, how about? Yeah, we'll put a tavern over there. And we'll put the market right about there. And okay, even more. Well, I don't think we need so much these now. Let's keep going with the hamlet. We're going to have to be relying largely upon what we're going to get out of out of this. Um, I think I better start building around the area here. So I'll keep the villas together. Keep the houses together. Just got more mills. Okay. Well, we can continue exploiting this, I guess. Actually, I should be doing it around here where I've actually got more more fields. And it looks like I do have a whole area down here, so if we manage to make another one, which uh, two more villas and we'll do it. Okay. Well, shoot, there's my harbor. But I feel like maybe I need, I'm only going to get one field out of that. Uh, shepherds. We can do shepherds. I don't know that those use fertile ground. Let's use this and get this out of the way. So the harbor. Harbor's a big deal. Harbor actually gets 24 or 25 out here. That's interesting. For every adjacent water tile and every market. Fisher and storage. Okay. Well, that uh, that is that then. Why don't we build the fish out here in the middle of the sea, where they're otherwise not going to be building into anything. I will continue my platforming. Uh, anywhere else I could fill in? I kind of originally thought about building the city over here, but because of that temple, it's actually doing me better to be there. Uh, 12, 24, 24, 24. I could anticipate putting one here. It's kind of a waste to do it now, though. We'll get more. Yeah, put it down there. Okay, another tavern. 36 there. Well, may as well. Put down housing. Game does have a little bit of lag going on that I'm not really sure I can explain. It's hoping. And I think we're done. Alright. That's uh, pretty... Oh, shoot. Really? So it, it considers it to be done even though I just unlocked more. That's kind of unfair. This, this process needs to happen before the end screen happens. Uh, anyway, let's play again. <sighs> okay, uh, this one is very poor for land. And I'm not really sure I understand the texture. Uh, you start the game, or at least I did, uh, with very green grass. It looked normal and natural, and now it's giving me a bunch of desert tiles. It's kind of weird. So, looks like I'm going to be building my housing around there, but as always, I will begin putting my platforms in some areas. And... Let's maybe build one here. Okay. So we'll do fields. Uh, now, I do have some fertile ground over here, but... I really think... Oh, here's another spot. Okay, well, I guess I maybe should have been building platforms there. But uh, I feel like maybe right around here is going to do me better for right now. Get our usuals here. Game. What is... Going on. Okay, yeah, so 
Lag is, for some reason, an issue with this game. I don't understand it. Uh, I've not received a temple yet. That's because I need houses, yes. So I'll be building over some fertile ground there. Maybe I can avoid that? Let's try and avoid it just a little bit. We're not maximizing space this way, though. Or either way, really. But if I really have to come down to fertile ground... We don't have much more over here. Yeah, okay. This might be a bit more of a struggle and uh, might end up being my doom, but I'll try just a little bit here. We'll put villas. Oh, God. Okay, more seed. Put villas over on this end of things. We'll put a big ol'. Tavern right there. More of this. And let's see, a fisher. Uh, so if I wanted another harbor. I guess it doesn't really matter for uh, the housing, does it? Right there. Start building platforming around this island here. Put another tavern. Say here. Put a big old marketplace there. And it's really annoying, actually. Keep going for that. much more fertile ground to exploit. Let's see. So what do I have here? I think these are just... Nope, these are villas. Okay. Getting another one of these. I may want to think about putting those over on this side now. Got one more for fertile ground. And let's see, I've got a bakery. Gives me bonus for every one of those. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get all of them. Uh, that's okay, I guess. I can just grab one of you there, and we'll put that down there. Alright, so now we have to start building down here. Houses, something I've somewhat been neglecting. Boy, we're really racking it in with the mills. Right. Uh, well, I'm kind of inclined to do this, actually. But we can also go more harvest. Harvest seems to be pretty easy. What do we actually need for this? Just another house, okay. We'll get another mill. Alternatively, we can try and... Yeah, let's get this one. Try and get a little more out of villas and houses. 44, right here. All right. Tavern, 27 there. And I think that's about it, unfortunately. I was missing one house to complete that. Uh, significantly better, about twice as much. But uh, yeah, anyway, so that's, uh, that's pretty much the game. You just keep playing. It's kind of just a little bit of a chill-out game, more than anything, I think. Uh, it'd be nice to get those ships. So, uh, the one thing that I noticed that seems to be different from uh, the Islanders game. Uh, in that game, it seems like as you play the game, 
uh, you progressively unlock more stuff. And so the next time you play, uh, you're more likely to get some of those new cards in. Whereas this one seems to have a pretty linear progression. Like you, you see the same things over and over from the beginning, and you're only going to get those more advanced things if you keep playing long enough. If that makes sense. Like you have to keep playing the same island in order to to reach those other uh, buildings and, and uh, objects. Whereas in this game, uh, or in in Islanders, um, you could unlock those for early in the next game. So, uh, you know, uh, given how, I guess, kind of random uh, the, the map is, the, the challenge is a little bit skewed against you in that regard. Um, it, it's hard to make good out of a bad situation in this game uh, as compared to the Islanders, um, especially because there's also a, a fairly fairly short amount of space <laughs> and uh, I don't know it kind of feels like they could shorten how much uh, of the water tiles are, are there or are available because if it's together uh, no problem but if it was kind of like that last map where you've got a little pocket here a little pocket there it limits your ability to synergize things just a little bit but uh, as far as I understand this game is still being developed uh, pretty frequently, so who knows, maybe maybe stuff like that will be fixed. But uh, anyway, that has been First Days of Atlantis. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next Let's Play.